decline of the walleye fishery is not necessarily unique to Lake Scugog, but certainly has had an impact because it was a very important walleye fishery up until last year when they put the moratorium on fishing walleye. Even though the, a major focus of the Trillium Grant is to look at you know, what's happening to the walleye population in Lake Scugog, to understand what's happening, you have to, you have to study the, the food web. So this is where understanding its habitat, so the, the aquatic uh, plants that are in the lake, if there's too much algae, is that causing problems for, for walleye um, habitat? And uh, is it impacting the fish of the walleye? So young, young walleye eat uh, zooplankton and even algae. And so um, is the so-called good algae that walleye like, is that in the lake? Or is it replaced by microcystis and other algae that's not desirable by the fish? So it's important to, to study walleye and the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry is doing a great job of studying the walleye population. What we're doing is providing the other piece, providing information about the health of the aquatic food web that the, the walleye depends on for its, its own uh, longevity and, and, and uh, population growth.